Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of important personnel all over the globe. I bring greatest from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. So, my colorless people, today I have another one for you. So, before then, I just want to give you a little clue of what we are about to talk about today. See, my colorless people, you people should trust me because I said I am digging in to give you all the latest updates back to back. See, you know that early this week, yeah. Mazi Kanu Takanu and so IPOB Persine stormed the UK court, that is the Royal Justice Court. And you know what happened? <laughs> according to if according to barrister Aloy Ejemako, he made us to understand that this case was filed by the family of Mazinab the Kanu. Mm -hmm. But as I'm talking to you, I know that a lot of people they are waiting for the update to that. Oh, what happened in the court? What did they say? What is the arrival? Hold on, sit back, carry your popcorn, and let's go. Let me just first of all brief you about this update from Aloy AJ Mako. He said, update on Mazen of the Canoe. Outstanding cases. That is not one or two. They are very many. Outstanding cases. He said, in which I am directly involved. Like all these cases that he's going to talk to you about, he is directly involved in them. Now, something will hit you and said, does that mean that there are some cases that... Aloy Ejemako is not directly involved. That is, he is involved partially, partly. Is it that because of what is going on? See, my coalition people, at times when somebody is airing his or a view, when somebody is saying something, you still see reason with what the person is saying. He said these outstanding cases, he is directly involved. So it's just like there are some cases that they don't want to give him the chance to be involved fully and if you notice all the cases about this uh, uk court you will see that barista aloy ejemako is fully involved in them and he carry out and give us the feedback back to back and he do well to appreciate all the legal representative in that particular case this is when I drew the curtain that there is something more to it. There is a lot of things that happen that we don't know. Because it looks like there are some cases that a bad man up the canoe that a lot a barrister, a lawyer, a jimako, is fully involved, is directly involved. In fact, he knows everything that he is doing, just like the cases. Uh, with the Umaya case, uh, court, the case with Umaya court, you can see that barista Aloy Ejemako, oh my goodness, he is fully involved. In fact, he is the one that is doing all the right up, he is the one that is doing all the running, he is the one that is doing everything about that court hearing, if you will, if you will agree with me. And most times, if you notice the case, all the reports that are coming from the case from Abuja, especially from Mazenab the Kanu with the remaining legal team, you see that Barista Aloy Ejemako is not directly involved because he, he only tells you more about when he goes to Miss Mazenab the Kanu. Um, what is the next plan according to himself? He is not telling you the plan according. This is the plans of the legal team, or this is what they are doing, and all that. He is not directly involved in the case of Mazenam the Kanu in Abuja. It's just like someone that they didn't give him the full mandate that this particular part or this thing we are handling it together like he's fully involved. No, it's just like his own involvement is to tell Mazenam the Kanu some latest development about each of the courts that they attend. And he said, Update on Mazinam the Kanu are standing cases in which I am directly involved. The UK cases are waiting decision February. That is the UK cases are waiting decision by February. Uh, high court case for November 18 is discontinued. High court case for November 18 is discontinued. The AU case is awaiting decision. UN opinion has been escalated to other tribunals. The Kenya case is set for February 
2023. Then he, he, he writes in bracket, he says, sad. That means these people are joining of the case, discontinued case, not ready for the case. This is just what they are doing. You see that all Mazinam Dikanu case is not going to be next year. I am telling you, you see, and Barista uh, Aloy Ejimako writes in bracket and said, sad. That's to say, all Mazinam Dikanus are standing cases. We are going to hear about them from February 2023. You see the game these people are playing. It's not going to be February 2023. And you will discover that it will be after this, their so-called election they want to do. I am telling you the truth. Now, the other write-up, he said, I have been asked to withhold on my comprehensive write-up report on Mazinab the Canon's court case in London. The only people, Makito, the only people involved back home, Mazinab the Canon's family and barrister Aloy Ejemako already have updates. We won't give any clue for the broadcast. That is what I have said so far. I said, the update from the Royal Court of Justice in UK, they did not make it open that they've already mm -hmm. given the copy of it. Mazana the Kano's family, they are there. People back home and the uh, barrister Loy Ejemako have uh, the updates already. So they are not going to make it public so that the DOS, the IBOP leadership, will not get any eye clue of what happened in the court. So do you think that is a good idea that they are hiding these things or they don't want people to know the way forward? Even if they are hiding it for uh, the IPOP leadership, what about the Biafrans that want to know? What about the Biafrans that want to know the the outcome of the court do you think that's a good idea anyway they have their own personal reasons why they have done this okay because you know i told you earlier i said that this case was filed by the canus family that is mazana the canus family they are the ones that filed this case they are the ones that put up this case everything you see about the case the family are the ones that are fully involved with barrister Aloy Ejemako and now they have already tell you that these are the people that have the file report already and they don't want to make it public for now so I think that they have their own reason if not I look at it in another one say ah people a lot of Biafrans want to know but they just have to go silent that they are not bringing open what transpired in that particular court or the updates from that court but all the same we hope for the best, all for the best of Mazana the Canus release, all for the good work that everybody is crying for. The the the, the actualization of Biafra, the liberation of Biafra. That is what a lot of people need right now. So when things are turning out for our good and the benefit of the people, we have no reason just to say we thank you god and at the end of the day biafra we emerge and the release of mazinab the candle it is so important to each and every one of us right now even non-biafrans they wish that the federal government of nigeria obey the court order and release mazinab the candle for peace to reign so thank you so much everyone for tuning in thank you for your love thank you for your support please do want to share this video like and subscribe thank you and bye bye